Hi everyone, this is Professor McAllister coming at you with a five minute moment. I have been looking at the topic of child abuse globally. I know some folks have really asked this question, such as what does child abuse look like around the world? Our textbook that we look at in our class is geared towards the United States in regards to discussing how child abuse looks, right? Well, if we step outside of that arena and we look globally, we look at the prevalence. Child abuse is extremely prevalent around the world and unfortunately and sadly, there's so many statistics that really do discuss how prevalent it is. So Um, There was a journal article back in 2011. I'm looking at it here on my computer by the International Journal of Epidemiology. Epidemiology studies the, uh, yes, the study of where things come from, right? So where where does it begin? How much is there to start with? Types of uh, ground floor types of information. So looking at um, the, the article is called Child Abuse in 28 Developing and Transitional Countries Results from the Multi-Indicator Cluster Survey. It's a huge survey system that goes out. Now, it's not common that you see, I, I think, this really good level of data. I'm also a research instructor at the MSW level, and um, the, I've, I've read through this article, and it's a great article. It's one that I'm going to forward on to students in my research classes. So the materials, methods, and questionnaire were really solid. Now, now, when we go down and look at the results, you know, folks, this is where it gets crazy. I've been studying this article for about 30, 45 minutes, just really looking at it, looking at the tables and, um, you know, telling myself, what do these numbers mean? Well, for example, um, and if I'm understanding the table right here, so countries by groups, let's say uh, Ghana, 83.8% of the respondents reported that they experienced some type of psychological abuse, 82.3%, 51% severe physical abuse. Um, I'm looking down the physical abuse category, Albania, very low physical abuse, 8.9%. Um, Bosnia and Herzegovina, uh, 6.1% that reported physical abuse. Kazakhstan, 2.2% out of 6,864 respondents just from that country of Kazakhstan. Um, some other high numbers, let's see, 61% percent reported physical abuse these are children reported physical abuse in Yemen out of a out of a population of 2845 respondents so this is just uh, very interesting data to look at in terms of global rates of child abuse. There's um, all sorts of international studies going on, um, global studies of child abuse going on. Remember, we're in this very, very small um, land mass of the United States, and we live here, and of course, our, our purpose is to um, impact you know those around us in our communities. But thinking outside of that globally is a fantastic way to really put in perspective, what is it that we're looking at here versus the rest of the world? And that, I think, lends to our perspectives, our lenses, our ideology, our worldview of where does this topic of child abuse come from and why is it so prevalent? And look at the cultures associated with some of these larger or smaller numbers. So, you know, for another example here, um, uh, the Ukraine uh, is 64.9 percent psychological abuse. Um, you know, all of these numbers are just mind blowing when it comes to the psychological abuse, but very low numbers in some of the countries with psychological abuse. Um, Albania, out of a sample of 2,478 respondents, 11.8% reported psychological abuse, which is just very, very low. So anyhow, think of that. Put the connections together in your mind and ask yourself, what is the culture and uh, um, what, what's going on in those countries versus how uh, progressive those countries are in terms of media and technology and the things that contribute. All of those factors that contribute to the belief systems and the cultures of those populations. So thank you for listening to this five-minute moment, and we'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.